If you're new to vaping, here are six mistakes you need to avoid. Remember that if you don't smoke, you should not vape. Vaping is designed to be a tool for smokers to quit and does contain nicotine, which is addictive. So when you vape, there are two main ways to use your device. And this is direct to lung vaping or mouth to lung vaping. The main difference being direct to lung is when you breathe directly in like a big breath of air and then out again. And mouth to lung is when you breathe the vapor into your mouth, hold it there for a second, then into your lungs. And this is the same way you'd smoke a cigarette. If you want to vape direct to lung, you'll probably be using a sub ohm kit. These are sometimes called box mods and they have a larger battery and they produce a lot more vapor that's thicker. Uh, you've probably seen videos of people doing tricks and they'll be using these types of kit. Generally we don't recommend you use these kits if you've just started vaping as they're not particularly good for nicotine delivery. Mouth to lung kits tend to be smaller and they produce less of a cloud but they deliver nicotine to your system a lot more effectively. When you first start vaping it can be a little confusing as there are a lot of devices available to you but it is really important that you pick the right one. The type of devices there are include pen kits, box mods, cigar likes, sub ohm kits and pod mods. Here at ET we recommend you choose a pre-filled pod mod. This is because they're really easy to use, they're small in size and they deliver great flavour. Generally when you start vaping you'll be able to find e-liquid or pods in different nicotine strengths ranging from 0mg to 20mg. You should base this on how much you used to smoke when you were a smoker. So if you were smoking 4 to 5 cigarettes a day, you shouldn't be choosing the same strength as someone who smoked 20 to 30 cigarettes a day. When it comes to vaping, you'll find nicotine available in two main forms. This is nicotine salts and freebase, which is the standard. If you're an ex-smoker and you're looking to start vaping, the best thing for you to use would be nicotine salts, and these are much smoother at higher strengths. Whereas with standard freebase, the higher you go, the harsher it will be on your throat. As a general guideline, if you smoke less than 10 cigarettes a day, go for a maximum strength of 10 mg, whereas if you're smoking more than that, you can go up to the higher strengths between 15 and 20. The dreaded dry hit is enough to put anyone off of vaping, but luckily they're quite easy to avoid. Essentially, when you get a dry hit, all that's happening is you're activating the device when the cotton inside your coil isn't saturated with liquid, so all you get is a, a hit of kind of burnt cotton taste. The best way to avoid a dry hit is to prime your coil before use. To do that, just take a new coil out of the pack, prime it with a bit of e-liquid in the areas where there's exposed cotton, put it into your tank and fill it up, leave it for 10 minutes, and then after that you can activate your device. As the coil has soaked up all the liquid, you won't be getting any dry hits. If you're using a refillable pod mod, the same still applies as the pod serves as the tank, so you need to fill it up, leave it for 10 minutes before use. If you're using a pre-filled pod, like the Jewel, you don't need to prime anything as the liquid's already been sitting in the pod for some time, so you can use it straight away. It may sound silly, but it's a question we get quite a lot. Before your device will work, it does need to be turned on. Now, the way you switch them on does depend on the device, but in most cases, if there's a button you can press, it will be three to five button presses in quick succession. If there's no button on your device, it means it's automatically enabled, so you'll just need to inhale on the mouthpiece to activate it. Most people, when they first start vaping, will actually inhale too hard on the mouthpiece because they're used to using a cigarette. When all you need to do once the device is activated is inhale gently to get the vapour into your system. If you do inhale too much you risk getting leaks because the coil becomes flooded with too much liquid and that liquid can then come out of the airways or the mouthpiece of your device. This concludes our list of six mistakes you need to avoid when you're new to vaping. I'm Joe from The Electric Tobacconist and thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss our next video.